visual problem solving is one of those things that is usually talked about when it comes to graphic design but it's also a big part of my painting process because a lot of times I just don't have a clear vision of, of what I'm making. I might have like a one strong hook for an image and in this part it's, was this uh, rain cloud but that by itself is just a character. It's not a story on its own. So the story kind of formed through this process of visual problem solving and how to have visual impact with the cloud. So sometimes just like thinking about the whole painting with all its million different parts and visual problems to solve, that can seem overwhelming to me at times. So I just break it down as small parts that I can so that it just becomes manageable at some point. So for example, this cloud, it was really hard to construct, but once I had something there, I could begin the assembly of this painting. And the assembly is kind of a collection of these different parts that are not finished on their own yet. They are just there. But even if they're painted wrong at first, I can still use those wrong decisions to build upon what works and what doesn't. Even if something looks out of place, even that gives me information what to do for that part of the painting. Does it need more saturation or contrast or am I drawing the eye of the viewer into an unimportant part of the piece. So I try to be like lenient with myself when it comes to creating uh, mistakes because those are also part of the whole visual problem solving process. If it was just like an instantaneous uh, flash of an idea, then there wouldn't be any work <laughs> in creating a painting. So that part is also fun for me, like when it finally kind of like clicks together and those puzzle pieces finally start to fit and I feel like yes, I'm making sense out of this. That to me feels exciting and it can feel even more exciting than those paintings where you have a really clear vision of what you're making and all the answers are kind of like already there for you to just manually put together because when you don't have a clear vision, you have just kind of these parts that you are assembling. The whole picture becomes this kind of like a riddle and solving it feels fun because you as a painter also get to experience the painting for the first time when it finally comes together. And that's the kind of fun part of painting for me. So maybe sketching everything all the way through is not ideal because then I would never get to experience this. So it's just something that I thought I would put out there because a lot of people ask about my process and they think that I have this like one, two, three method of putting things together and sometimes it's just complete chaos, but it's wonderful, fun chaos. And I want everybody to enjoy this <laughs> the same way. So that's all. <laughs> I'm Mikko and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!